Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can build this kind of expandable and collapsive left nav component in your power apps that to under just 10 minutes. If you can see when I expand and collapse, uh, the icon of uh, the component change automatically and also the right container width change as per the expand and collapse. If I navigate to respective icon, it's take me to the respective screen here, same into the expanded mode as well. So let's just talk about how we can build this quickly in Power Apps. I'll go to my Power Apps into the app formula property. I have created a named formula called menu items. And there is three property in the table. You will see there is text value, icon, and navigate screen. Text value and icon you will see in the navigations. These the home new approval is the text value and icon in the left. And uh, this navigate screen redirect user to the respective screen based upon the screen that we have created in our app. Once this table is created, we'll go to the component. I will create a new component here and name this as left nav. I will enable the access app scope to on. Once this is on, I can access uh, these formula inside my component directly. I'll set the width of um, this component as 50. I'll set the height of this component as uh, app dot height and fill will be app dot theme dot color dot primary you will see the default selected themes primary color is filled just to let you know i have used modern themes and control in this component if it is not enabled for you go to the setting updates modern control and themes turn this on you will have modern themes and controls enables for you now we'll insert a Hamburg menu. First, I will set the color of this one to white. I'll set the width to 30, height to 30, X position 10, Y position 10. You can see it is centrally aligned now. On the on select property of this hamburger, I will set a variable and I will say nav expand and I'll set the value as not equal to nav expand. I will use this to control the width of my component. So I'll put the if condition here if nav expand is true set the width as 150 else set this to 50. save this let me just test this it is working fine now i'll insert a flexible height blank gallery and uh, first thing i will set the item property of this one to menu items and uh, set the x property to zero set the y property as uh, because we have icon on top of this so it will be icon one dot height plus 40 pixel and accordingly we'll adjust the height height will be parent dot height minus icon one dot height minus 40. you will see it is put into the screen and width i will say parent dot width this is done there is few more properties go to the template padding set this to zero so scroll bar turn this off template size i'm going to set to 70 that's the height of our template we're going to put and that's all we have to do once this is done i'll edit this gallery insert a modern button and in the icon i'll just select any icon randomly i'll enlarge this little bit and i'll set the x property of this to zero Again, set the Y property of this button zero. 
and width of this button I'm going to set as 150 manually and height I'm going to set as parent dot template height and in the align I'm going to set this to left align I will uh, set the padding as 10 for top left bottom and right once this is done now there is a font size i'll go to the font size and i'll put the if condition here if nav expand is true then set the height as 20 else set this to 30 sorry the size of the font you will see this looks good and uh, i'll go to the icon property of this one now set this dynamically this item dot icon will have the icon and if we go to the text property of this one i'll set this item dot text value that we have you'll see the text value is a little visible here to just avoid that i will add a character 160 it is a space just run this you will see it's looking good let me collapse this few more property i will set for this button uh, vertical align you can set middle and then uh, font is let's keep it arial and font style keep it italic and border solid one pixel and border color as well i will set to border color as app dot theme dot color dot darker 50 so you will see we have the bar as well now this is done what we're going to do is on to the on select property of this navigate this item dot navigate screen so it will redirect the user to the respective screen this is done now i'll go to my screen and uh, in the sidebar i will remove the existing component and i will insert our new left nav component here and uh, you will see there is an error message because uh, the width we are setting based on this uh, left nav dot width to dynamically manage the height container for that i will say left nav one dot width you will see it's working fine now just to let you know i have used the container based model and inside of horizontal container i have used two container the left container i have turned off this flexible width and the width is based upon our this left nav width and for the right container which is our this main area the flexible width is turned on so based upon what is the width of my this uh, left nav component it's uh, shrink accordingly so once this is done we're going to add our component to rest of the screens as well once i've added the left nav to all the screen I will save this and publish. New version is there. Refresh this. You will see we have a new left nav components available and it is working fine. When we click on uh, the screen, so you will see there is a loading icon. So, for that, what we're going to do is we go to the component gallery. There is a property called delay item loading set this to false and for button uh, font size we're going to set this to it's like 18 and 30 and uh, in the button as well there is few property like open sense 
border i will set 0 0.5 now we'll publish this again refresh allow you will see we have a nice looking left nav now there is no uh, loading icon there and you will see based upon what you have selected it is working as per the expectation i hope you like this video if you do like don't forget to subscribe learn and tech thank you so much for watching